One of the things that I think is so frustrating to everybody is when a house doesn't appraise. Absolutely. So you were under contract with a buyer. Mm -hmm. That house, you were concerned about the purchase price when y'all were looking at it. Yes, I was. So because you felt like it was... A little high. And I said, we always have to say, you have to leave it up to the buyer because yes. there is a chance that they'll pay for the appraisal mm -hmm. and the house doesn't appraise. And then the seller has a couple of options. Did this one turn out well? No, it did not. It did not turn out well. <laughs> and we hate that. As a seller, the options you have when your house doesn't appraise is to A, not sell it for that price, and B, come down on the price to what it appraised for, mm -hmm. or like we tried in this scenario, we tried to in meet in the middle where the buyer was willing to pay some, mm -hmm. the real estate agent, we were willing to do <laughs> something, and of course we were asking the seller to do something. We just got flat nose across the board. So as a seller, you have to understand, like when I'm they are talking to you about your price, and I say, I don't think it would appraise for that, mm -hmm. because now those people are are having to regroup, went back on the market, and I don't think it's gonna appraise again because it was a really solid appraisal. You can't just necessarily get what you want for your house. You have to price your house where a buyer wants to buy it. Buyers wanna buy it. And the bank is willing to loan the money. Those things have to work together. Mm -hmm.